In the year 2024, we're leaving Southeast Asia and we're heading west. We're going to explore the subcontinent in India and Sri Lanka. On our journey west, we'll explore the lesser known parts of the world where Asia meets Europe in Armenia, Georgia, and who knows, we might even stop in Azerbaijan. In our time in Europe, we'll stop in the historic and budget-friendly countries of the East and the popular countries of Western Europe before we make our way to conquer the mighty rock of Gibraltar and cross the Gibraltar Strait into Northern Africa. Our travels in Northern Africa will begin in Morocco, Algeria, and Tunisia before heading to Egypt and then heading south to climb to the roof of Africa in the mighty Mount Kilimanjaro. We sure do have a lot of ground to cover this year. And this this video is just a teaser of what's to come, so make sure you smash that subscribe button and follow our journey. Matt, I'm hearing a lot of we and a lot of our. Is there something you're not telling me? There sure is. Introducing Jamie Lee, aka JL, my partner in crime turned travel buddy. She is a teacher back home, is bright, bubbly, and crazy enough to join me traveling the world this year. JL, why don't you tell our fellow travelers what you're packing for this year of adventure? Alright, this is what I'm packing for our life around the world. What have we got? We've got a microfiber towel and a sarong, my undies, wireless headphones and my laptop, my Kindle, which I already know I wouldn't be able to live without. Got this giant stack of cords with everyday case for my backpack, toiletries, a hat, all my tops, which I think is about five singlets and three t-shirts. Got some dresses and some light jumpers. My bottoms, both long and short. Got a puffer jacket and this whole packing cube is pretty much for hiking. It's got my hiking pants, my thermals, beanie, favors, comfy clothes. We've got my Uniqlo bag, which I love. Raincoat, everyday runners, and my hiking boots. And this is what I'm packing for our year of adventure. Remember, we are going across three continents and in all weather conditions. Microfiber towel, bag full of socks, headlamp, headphones, GoPro gear, charging gear, this Satashi piece and this Angkor piece are bloody insane. Camera, Monopoly deal, bag full of cords, toiletries, two pairs of jeans, all my undies, don't look at them, they're dirty. Laptop, laptop charger, the universal kit from Apple. This is all my woolen gear and thermals, puffer jacket, singlets and training gear, two pairs of shorts, two button ups, a light jumper and five t-shirts. Hoodie, raincoat, everyday shoes, Hiking shoes. Now, if you like anything here, all the cool stuff will have a link in the description. Thank you. Now budget wise, we understand that we are in a fortunate position to be able to travel for so long and not everybody will have the chance to experience this. It is currently January 15th and we plan to travel until December 20th, 2024. So that means we're traveling for 340 days non-stop all around the world. For that we have a combined budget of 55,000 Australian dollars and we're gonna try and stick to $100 a day each for our daily expenses including accommodation, food and beverage, minor transport, minor attractions, and all the other miscellaneous small stuff that pops up along the way. That leaves, how much does it leave? 21,000. That leaves $21,000 for the big things. So the travel insurance, your long haul flights, your major attractions. Yeah, so what we plan to share with you budget wise is country cost breakdowns, monthly cost breakdowns, and heaps and heaps and heaps of other budget travel tips. If you have a specific question that we haven't answered, just send us a DM and we'll give you the information that you need. If you want to follow our journey, follow us on YouTube or social media at The Departure Brief. Boom.